Hello, so this is the demo for my project, my student project. <clears throat> As you can see, my project is a traffic light controller. Right? So, my materials include this one over here. This one is a PIR motion sensor. And then there is three LEDs here and three LEDs here those red, yellow, green, red, yellow, green and if you can imagine this this lane this part right here is the main road right and this is a side road coming out or you can say this is the highway and this is like a farm road or a countryside road a smaller road so this one right here will get priority and then we only need one sensor on the side row because <clears throat> that's all we need for this algorithm to work okay so let's just sit still for a little bit for the sensor to relax a bit and you can see demo okay so this is the original right the the main row is green and the side row is red because the main row always get priority and if you do some motion and then it will turn yellow and red here and then the side row will get green for 5 seconds and then it goes yellow, red and then this one is back to green here so it will be better if I use a photoresistor because this as you see this motion sensor is way too sensitive for this uh, testing even if I just moving to demo for you here my little finger over here it's, it still catches the motion and it still changes the lights <clears throat> but as you can see I was going to do the red light for 10 seconds and the yellow for 3 seconds but then I just cut it in half because that would be too slow for this demonstration if you get it I just wait a bit, yellow, red, and then this one turns green. So we just do it one more time, do a little motion over here. And then yellow, red, that one turns green. And then for five seconds, go back to yellow, red, and this one turns green. Okay, that's it. Hello, okay, so this is my explanation of the code for my student project the traffic light controller uh, first let's go to this PDF where I sketch out the algorithm okay so here is a FSM a finite state machine right so the first day at zero so we have two streets right the main street is green and the side street is red that's the default so the main street always get priority and okay let's first talk about the inputs so the inputs for this module will be this is the external sensor input so one will be detected and zero will be not detected and here are the control from the inputs so it's the output of the timer module so it's the main three seconds this is the delay of the <coughs> yellow light on the main street delay of the yellow light on the side street and then this is the delay of the red light on the side street because you don't have the delay on the red light of the main street because guess priority so next we have the control signals which will be a red delay which it will control when the delay will be red and yellow delay on the main street yellow delay on the side street you will see how it all comes into play later on okay so the first case scenario back to here we have the main street is currently green and the side street is currently red and if there is no signal detected it will always be like this so cars on the main street gets to ride through and the side street if there's no car then there's no reason to stop the main street right the highway okay so the output will be red delay is zero all the control signals yellow main delay is zero yellow side delay is zero because you have don't have a red light delay here and you don't have a yellow light delay anywhere when there's a vehicle detected it will go down to this state state one so now the side 
light will still be red because you have to wait for the main light to get yellow first so the red delay signal will be 0 the yellow main will be 1 so yellow on the main side delay is 1 so it means that now count the yellow delay so yellow on the side is 0 <coughs> and then as you see down here we use another input signal coming from the timer module so if the delay on the main street the 3 second delay for the yellow signal on the main street is 0 then you stay here because you have to wait until 3 seconds is over right and if the 3 seconds is 1 which means that it's already 3 seconds you can go on to the next state which is the main will turn red and the side will turn green so now that it's red you turn on the red delay this is the the delay the time it means that set the delay on the red light so that the car on the side street have enough time to go have enough time of green and then set it back to green on the main street and red on the side street okay if the 10 seconds is zero it means it's not 10 seconds yet so stays in this state if it's one it means it's already 10 seconds so it goes over here to this state so the <coughs> main street is still red but the side street is now yellow be preparing to be red so now you turn on the yellow side signal the last one here to one everything else is zero and you use another input to move on to to move back to stay zero which is the side street three second delay right so if it's zero not three seconds yet stay here if it's already three seconds for the yellow light you go back here so you stay here and if there's no vehicle detected you stay here if there's vehicle detected you go back through all this loop okay so now we can go ahead and explain the code over here I have the parameters so I just have easier cases naming you know so I have MGSR that's like main row is green side row is red is it corresponds to this diagram over here right main is green size red main is yellow size red so main yellow side red main green side red okay so there are four states like the fsm i drew on the other document over here is the output varietal signal so i call to register side lights and main lights then i have them here assigned to the outputs so it's easier, I don't have to do separate outputs controlling coding. The control signals over here is the ones that I declare down here, right? It's the control modules inputs and the signals. So I initiate it all to zero. And then I have a stay and a next day two bit because we have four states. okay so here is the timing operation you have uh, I have a count which is just a 26 bit counter go up to 50 million uh, this has a 100 megahertz clock so I go up to 50 million which means that I will have an operation executed every half a second you know just to make the demonstration faster you can change this to add like three more bits and then it goes up to this one will go up to 100,000 and then you have a one second time base okay I forgot to delete this tick I don't even use it and this is just a second counter it will increase every second and it can go up to 10 seconds for our red light delay so I have four bit okay so for every half a second I will get the count back down to zero okay and then inside this whole block is the if block it covers this whole thing so you know it only happens this scanning only happens every half a second it doesn't happen at clock speed which is very fast we can't control that okay so every second it will scan if red delay or yellow delay main or yellow delay on the side is one that is 
going back to this diagram, it will scan if these three signals are one. If it's one, then it will start the counter to count the yellow and the red line. Okay. Yeah. So if it's one, then you start the counter. Second equals second plus one, right? And then if second is nine and the red delay signal is on, which means that <coughs> uh, the red line on the main street is waiting to be turned yellow. So if a second is this, you will turn on the signal. Red 10 seconds is 1 and everything else is 0. So if you turn on red 10 seconds is 1, this is this one. Right, red 10 seconds is 1, it will move from this state to this state. And go back to here. Now if the yellow delay mean is on and the second is 3, which means the yellow line is waiting to be transferred to the next state, it's ready. So you set the main 3 second delay to 1, which means 3 second is over for the yellow line on the main street, right? Main 3 second delay is 1. It's, we add this state here as 1. So now it's 1, so we're ready to move on to this state. And the same with the other side, yellow delay on the side street is now 3 seconds, so you turn on that signal 1, which allows this to be passed through and go back to the state. Else begin. This is when nothing happens, so <coughs> this else is like, the sort of counter is not 3 seconds or 9 seconds. You just keep increasing and no another signal gets passed. Okay, else you just increase the count by one for this one. Okay, so this is the light control or where the FSM is located. Okay, if we set, we set the state to zero, else we set the state to the next state. We have a negative H0 here, so this is a no, not zero. Okay. <clears throat> we have a finite state machine, which is a K statement based on the state. So this is the parameters we set earlier. So now it says main green and side red. So this is this first state right here, right? Mm -hmm. And then <coughs> I would have it output all the control signals. So red delay, yellow delay, main yellow delay, side will all be zero. Just like I set it over here. So, <clears throat> and then I'll have the light controlling signals going out, right? So the main light is zero, zero, 001, which is 0 for red, 0 for yellow, 1 for green, so it's green. And this is 100 zero, zero for the side light, so it's red. And if the AD0 detected, this signal is, is this, this D1 signal right here. So if it's detected, then your next day it will go down to the next day, right? Like if it's detected, then it goes down. If it's not detected, it'll stay here. If it's not detected, then it stay in MGSR, which is this day. And if it's detected, then it will go to the next day. So now you need to turn your yellow light on, the red light off. So you output the signal yellow delay main, which means now start the delay countdown for the yellow light and the main light will be 010 which is yellow on everything else off this is still red so it's 100 and you have the next day if the main tree is so as you see if over here right if the yellow light main signal is on and if the second is already three seconds then you set the main tree s to one which then will enable this to move on to the next day with this if statement. If it's not already 3 seconds, you stay in that state. Here is the same thing. This is main street red and side street green. So now the side street is green and it's going. Uh, it has 10 seconds to go, but I only did 5 in this demo, but whatever, I call it 10. So. <coughs> It has to wait 10 seconds. So we'll stay in this state for 10 seconds. 
right? So that's the L stay in this state part. If it's already 10 seconds over, it will move on to the next state, which is MRSY, Main Street Red, and Side Street Yellow. Okay. <clears throat> and during this stage, turn the red delay on and everything else off. Of course, the light will be Main Light Red, Side Light Green. And then the last state, you have the yellow light on the side street and the red light on the main street. Yeah, I know. All these keywords are a little confusing. <laughs> and then the main light is now red. This is yellow. You have a yellow delay for the side row on. And until 3 seconds, it will turn the signals on, which will go to the next day, which is the original state of the main street is green and the side street is red. Else, it will stay in this state until the yellow countdown is over. And that's all for my code.